This question right here left a lot of little customer service managers confused um, when they had to complete this for their promotion, isn't it? So it says write down the domain and range of f of x's tan arc cos x only for two marks. All right. Well, anything to do with domain and range, we should be doing a sketch. So we need to think about this in terms of a process though. In terms of the domain, you're just thinking about what values of x are you allowed to substitute? All right, simple as that. Well, x is being su substituted in to arc cos. Yeah, you're subbing your x values into arc cos, and then you're doing tan of that. But essentially, you're just looking at this, which is part of arc cos x. Okay, so there we're gonna have to sketch arc, arc cos, which, the way I remember arc cos, that's a really nice straight line, is uh, Colgate. It looks like the Colgate, what is it? The Colgate logo. Colgate logo? Yeah. Now the Colgate logo goes between minus one and one, and then it comes from the cosine graph, which does this between zero and pi. So this is obviously zero, and up here you have pi. Okay, well, that just means that the values of x that you're allowed to substitute are between zero, uh, minus one and one, okay? But we have to be a bit more careful than that because we're going to have to be substituting into tan as well. All right. But let's think about the range so far. So the range here, like we said, is between 0 and pi. 0, what should I call it? Y, I'll just say Y and pi. All right. So this is looking good. Yeah, but there may be some breaks when we then sub it into tan. So let's go and look at our tan graph. But the tan graph, if you think about it, we're taking our x values, yeah, we sub into arc cos. These values are between zero and pi. So these values here are between zero and pi. So you're doing tan of numbers between zero and pi. So let's draw the tan graph between zero and pi. It looks something like this. Okay, what do you notice? You notice that it's undefined for pi over 2. Okay? So this whole function is undefined when x is... No, sorry. When arc cos x is pi over 2. Okay? So it's undefined when arc cos x is pi over 2. Now, when is that? Here. Which is 0. So, this is my domain. However, I need to say that x cannot be 0 though, because if you sum in 0, you'll get arc cos of 0, which is pi over 2, and tan of pi over 2 is undefined. Okay? So, my domain, my domain is between minus 1 x and 1, x cannot equal 0. My range, if you look at this, goes up to infinity and down to minus infinity. The whole range is defined. So we're going to say f of x is between uh, minus infinity and infinity. And that is it. I mean, you could say that x is real. Uh, f of x is, is the real numbers. Uh, but I'm going to leave it like this. Okay. All right. Now, part B. Solve this. Okay. Now, are you going to substitute that into here? Probably not. Okay. There must be some trick to this. We have the cube of f of x minus f of x is 0. Now, when I solve that, when I solve that, uh, I notice a common factor. So, I think I'm going to factorize out f of x first and see what happens there. So, I get f of x will be left. When I factorize out f of x, I'll get f of x squared. So I'll get uh, f of x squared. I was thinking about how to write this. I don't really want a double square bracket. But anyway, minus 1 is 0. So either f of x is 0 or f of x squared equals 1. So we're going to get f of x is 0. We're going to get... Uh, 
I'm, I was going to square root it now. So you're going to get f of x all squared equals 1, then you're going to square root it. So you're going to get f of x is 1, and f of x is minus 1, right? And now we can sub in things, okay? So we have uh, tan of arc cos x is 0. So tan arc cos is 0. Okay, uh, I don't know if I wrote this down. I didn't because I'm a donut. The range. <clears throat> Let me double check the question. The range is between... Oh, I just cropped it out. Wait, what? Oh, wait, no. I'm bugging. The range. I've given the range. Uh, anyway, ignore me. So we're going to do inverse tan of zero. <laughs> inverse tan of zero is uh, zero. So I'm going to get arc cos x is zero. Now, how do you work out the secondary value for tan? You've just done inverse tan. That gives you the primary value. We're now going to work out the secondary value by doing pi plus. Pi plus zero is pi. Okay. Now, here, you need to double check. Can you keep adding pi or two pi to both of these to get the other values in the range? Remember, arc cos, the range for arc cos is between zero and pi. So that's where this comes from. So I didn't even need to give it to you. Anyway, I was bugging. Uh, I haven't had my coffee yet. So... Uh, what was I doing? And I'll do cos of both sides. Yeah, so remember arc cos is defined only between 0 and pi. So I'm going to cos everything. I get x is what? Cos of 0, 1. Cos of pi, minus 1. Which you could have got from here as well. So where am I got? I've got pi is minus 1, 0, 1. Okay, then we've got it equals 1. Uh, I'm actually just going to look at this is 1. So I'm going to do inverse tan of 1. I get arc cos x is inverse tan of 1, which is pi over 4. Okay. Now remember, I'm keeping things between 0 and pi. So I'm not going to add pi to that because you're going to come over. All right. So I'm going to cos both sides. Cos of pi over 4 is root 2 over 2. So x is root 2 over 2. Then the final one, when it equals minus 1. Uh, so equals minus 1. I'm going to do inverse tan. I get arc cos. Inverse tan of minus 1 is minus pi over 4. And then I'm going to add pi. Because arc cos is not defined for negatives. So I'm going to have to add pi. When you add pi, you get 3 pi over 4. Okay, that is not in the range. So I'm going to do cos of 3 pi over 4. Through cos of 3 pi over 4, it's going to go negative after pi over 2. So negative root 2 over 2. And that is our fourth solution. So we have, oh, it's quite a nice solution. If I write like this, x is plus or minus 1 and plus or minus root 2 over 2. And those are your solutions. How much of this would you have got? Let me know in the comment section. Guys, if you have more questions like this or ones that you're interested in, just drop it in the Lung Gang Reddit. Did I say like the video already? Maybe subscribe for more content like this. If you're interested in my mass courses, links in the description. Nice.